All right, Paige, I'm going to show you how to do a few things that will be beneficial for you. So let's start with going to your website. I'm here on Wix.com. I'm going to hit Edit, which is going to bring the website up. And the first thing I want to do is add a description. First thing I want to do is add a description to one of my products. Don't know why it's going so slow, but all right. I'm in so I'm going to go over here to my store I'm gonna click get started I'm gonna click got it and then I'm going to go to go to dashboard for my products which I really didn't have to go in here but I'm doing it anyway store products and let's say I pick the aged beard oil so I'm going to click the aged beard oil now is where I can add different views of this product if I want to add like a side view or zoom in I'm going to hit plus and I'm going to add my image I can also put it in a different collection so if I wanted this to be a part of the uh, specials I'm going to click special if it's no longer special unclick it but I got it on there for now I can put my price in here. Here's where I would change my description. I'm going to say this is the sample description that we made on the video. Right? So I can put it on sale by clicking that. And I can choose a percentage. Let's say the price is normally 200 I want to put it by percentage. I'm going to say 10% off. So it's going to do the math for me. Now, let's go down here. If I want to put custom text, like I want to add a custom text field, I can put a uh, uh, War Eagle right here. And then product options. This is where you want to add options to your product, which you don't have many, but I'll add one anyway. Add options. I can put size. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to put size. Right? And then my options for this size is 10 ounce. I'm going to say 4 ounce. Actually, I'm going to take this out and put ounce. So 10 ounce, 16 ounce. All right, so I got 10. Well, let's put a 12 ounce. See, I did that wrong. 12 ounce. All right, so I'm going to add here. So now I have different options. Do I want to manage pricing and inventory variance? Yes. So now I have my 4, 10, 16, and 12. So I want to say that the normal price is 180. I want to upcharge for the different sizes. So we're saying this is it. I want to upcharge for 10 ounce, I want to upcharge $5. 12 ounce, $8. 16 ounce, $10 upcharge. See, so it went up by itself. I want to track inventory if I have a certain amount. And let's say if I got 20 of these, 15, 14, oh, excuse me, 20 of these, we go up to 20, let's say 10, 11 of them, 12 of them, 30 of them, and I got 10, and I'm going to hit apply, so now it's going to change, tell me how many I got left in stock, so I'm going to hit save, right, I'm going to exit out of here, and now on my store, I'm gonna hit. I'm just go ahead and hit publish because you know it's not the real deal anyway. And now I'm gonna go to the site, view site. Now I'm on my website, right? So I'm here. Aged oil. See it says right here, as on sale for 180. And now I'm gonna click it. And now I have the option to select the size. 
and the War Eagle, like if I, this is like if I wanted to say, I wanted to have something special on here. So I would put custom text and they can write it right in there, but I don't have it. So I want to select four ounce. So they're going to tell me, let's say if I wanted to get 30. And we know we don't have 30. We're going to put 30 anyway. I'm going to add the cart. Only 11 left in stock. So it's going to tell them right there. So let's say if I go and I want three of them, I'm going to add it to my cart. So I got three, right? Ooh, 540. And let's go to the 10 ounce. I'm going to add 12 of them. Add to my cart. Boom. I'm going to go to the 16 ounce. And let's say I want 20 for the whole team. Let's see. 40. Oh, only 30 in stock. So let me get 15 of them. Add it to my cart. Boom. Get a 12 ounce. They tell me right up there's only 10 left. I'm going to go ahead and get all 10. Boom. Add to my cart. Boom. View my cart. So now, you know, it even has the sale on there. Shipping is free. You can change that if you want. It got 40 items in my bag. I can go ahead and check out right here. We're now able to set payments because you hadn't put it in yet. But once it's in there, you'll be able to do it. If I want to log in, you know, I can create an account and log in. That way it'll save my information. So that's just one thing, you know, let me know if you need any other tutorials.